St. Paul firefighters saved two teenagers who made a dangerous decision overnight. Fire crews spent almost three hours trying to free the teens from a cave on the city's west side. They got stuck down a shaft about 100 feet below and couldn't get back up. Gina Moyni has been following this story today. Sounds like these boys are pretty lucky. They really are, Liz. Things could have ended very differently. They're okay. They didn't even need to go to the hospital, all because the 13 who didn't follow them down called police. If all three teens had went down into the caves, the fire department says this story would have had a very different, tragic ending. Minnesota's capital city has long had a problem with urban explorers, according to St. Paul Assistant Fire Chief Mike Gady. We're just glad that they're safe, glad that they're uninjured. While the city has covered up many of the bluff caves that line the Mississippi River, Gady says three teenage boys tried to access caves through a ventilation shaft about 16 inches in diameter. They had some flashlights, a few ropes, but nothing to the extent of what they would need for an operation such as that. So they got down there, realized that they were over their head, couldn't get out by themselves, tried getting out for numerous hours, uh, apparently pleaded with the guy up top not to call because they thought they could get out. St. Paul's specialized cave rescue team spent from about 2 to 5 in the morning working to extricate the boys. It's one of the more severe ones. They were in a whole lot of trouble. The, luckily for them, the air monitoring was good down there. What they were in was a ventilation shaft that puts clean air down in there. That was the intended purpose when those caves were occupied. Air quality is one of the biggest threats once people make it down. At least two people have died in the caves in the past 15 years, which is why they are all off limits. This is no joke. The, that area is extremely dangerous and almost had dire consequences for those two young individuals. Gady didn't say where this happened specifically because they don't want anyone else to get any ideas. The fire department will work with the city parks and rec officials to also secure this access point to prevent any future incidents. Gosh, no joke is right. Just a bad idea. Yeah, thank mm -hmm. you, Nina.